Hi everybody, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast. Before I get started with the reading, I just want to take a second and thank all of my subscribers. Thank you guys so very much. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your comments, and just all of your positive feedback. If you are interested in receiving additional guidance from the weekly and monthly tarot forecast that I offer here on my channel, I do actually draw and upload every single day a daily oracle guidance card to my Instagram and Facebook pages. So if you're interested in receiving additional guidance, please head over and like me on Facebook or follow me on Instagram. If you are interested in receiving um, a private reading from me, I do actually have linked below in the description bar my my website so head over to my website and read about how I offer my private readings uh, and make sure that for these weekly tarot forecasts you are watching your sun sign your moon sign and your rising sign to get the most insight uh, some weeks you will resonate more with your sun sign other weeks you will resonate more with your rising sign or ascendant sign and then sometimes you might even resonate with all three your sun moon and rising sign so again I just want to thank you guys so very much for all of your support you guys are truly amazing thank you for all of the positive feedback your life your shares your comments I do wish you all a wonderful week stay tuned for the reading hi Sagittarius this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of September 12th through the 18th this is for Sagittarius Sun Sagittarius Moon and Sagittarius rising signs Okay, Sag. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Wands. Very nice. So the Eight of Wands can talk about a lot of communication coming in or a lot of communication going back and forth. This could be text. This could be emails. But also, this is that sudden energy. So something could be happening um, suddenly. The Eight of Wands really talks about things moving forward. Um, the energy moving forward. Um things improving, things looking up. The overall energy for the week, Sag, is the Seven of Pentacles. So this is you planting seeds with something and then waiting to be able to reap those rewards from those seeds that you've planted. So for some of you, you're maybe waiting on communication to come through, waiting for things to move forward. And that can be in any area of your life. Um, but I do see that communication coming through. With the Eight of Wands here at the bottom of the deck, I see communication coming through. Maybe this is something you've been waiting on for quite some time because with the Eight of Wands, it can really represent, um, you see this bird here who is dropping off a letter to this man. He looks quite surprised because he wasn't expecting it. So for some of you, maybe you've been waiting on something for a little while and now this, this information, um, this message, this communication could be coming through quite suddenly with the Eight of Wands. I see you wanting to charge forward. You have the Knight of Swords here. So this can represent you wanting to charge forward. Um, I see you very focused on, on this because we also have the Queen of Swords here. So for some of you, there could be an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra person who's quite significant around you. Also with the Queen of Swords, she can sometimes represent like an attorney. So for some of you, maybe you're hearing from an attorney. But I really see because the Queen of Swords is looking back and she's looking at the Knight of Swords, I think that you are focused, Sag, on moving forward. There's something that you're wanting, wanting to move towards. Um, you definitely want to charge forward. Um, I am feeling for some of you, this could be like a home situation, something to do with family. Now, for some of you, you could be waiting on maybe moving to a new home. Now, underneath the Knight of Swords, we have the Ten of Cups, which for me represents family. This is having it all. This is that emotional abundance, happiness, feeling quite content. There's something that for, for some of you, this is something 
in regards to your family. There's something that you want that's going to bring in a lot of happiness for you and your family. And I think that this is where your focus is at, especially I feel in the beginning of the week. There, you're trying to move towards this abundance, this happiness. And I think that for many of you, you're listening to your intuition with doing that, with obtaining this happiness and charging forward. You're really listening to your intuition, trusting your intuition, because we have the High Priestess here as well. So the High Priestess can represent secrets and mysteries. Um, for some Sages, this certainly can be you playing your cards close to your chest with whatever this is, what, whatever moves that you're making, because I definitely see you making moves, Sag. I see you in your mind. This is a lot of that, um, you know, very logical energy, analyzing, being quite logical, planning things out, planning out the details, being quite strategic. But with the High Priestess here, some of you could be doing that, um, you know, secretively or playing your cards close to your chest, not revealing too much to those around you. And then, you know, for others, this is you just highly, highly intuitive, trusting your intuition with charging forward. I think that many of you, you're quite confident with whatever this is, if this is you moving your family to a new home or moving towards this happiness, this could be related to career. This could be something, you know, within your personal life. I feel like you're you're quite confident with the moves that you're making, Sag. We have the six of, of wands here, which can talk of confidence. This is also success, uh, victory, feeling proud of yourself but quite confident. Um, now, some of you literally could have made a decision and you're quite confident. You're quite sure of that decision because we also have justice here. So some of you can be making a decision to charge forward and move forward in some sense. And then for some other Sages, this could be, could be you receiving a decision. Now, this could also be something legal that's going on. This could be a divorce for some of you. This could be some sort of legal decision. For some of you, it could have something to do with an inheritance, something that maybe you've been waiting on. And then for other Sages, you could be receiving a decision, but this is, you know, in your favor. Whatever this is, this is very positive. This is definitely um, you receiving a yes. This is you coming out quite victorious with whatever this is. Now, this could be for some of you, your attorney contacting you quite suddenly or out of the blue with the Eight of Wands. And then for other Sages, this could have something to do with a water sign or even an earth sign person because we also have the Queen of Cups here. So Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces person, male or female. But then I also have the King of Pentacles here. So Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, male or female. So you... For some of you, you could have a water sign or an earth sign or even an air sign person that's quite significant this week. For some of you, it could be a Libra with justice here. And then for others, certainly it could be maybe a Pisces person. But I see whatever this is, if you're receiving a decision or even for some of you, this could be some sort of karmic justice here. Whatever this fairness, um, this equality, this decision, whatever this is that's coming through for you, I see it being incredibly positive. Uh, the Queen of Cups for me also represents that, um, that happiness, that emotional abundance. So you have the Ten of Cups and you have the Queen of Cups here. So, you know, emotionally sad, just going to be an amazing week for you. Um, now, I remember your, your reading from, I believe it was last week, if not the week before. And this is, um, you know, this is much better. Some really positive energies that you're working with this week. Now, some of you, because we also have the High Priestess, uh, these two women are looking at each other. So for some Sages, no matter if you're male or female, this is you really, really listening to your intuition. I feel like this is what is allowing some of you to move forward or yeah I just see many of you moving forward I see you moving towards success I, I see you feeling quite proud of yourself 
This is something I feel that for many of you, you've already started. With this Seven of Pentacles, you've planted seeds with something within your life and, and you're listening to your intuition and you're moving forward with that. And I just see you highly, highly intuitive. You know, this is a very loving, caring, generous woman. Someone who, you know, maybe you're listening to your intuition, but also for some Sages, you could be following your heart. And with the King of, of Pentacles here, certainly this could be you signing a contract. You could be moving to a new home with justice here. For some of you, you could be starting a new job. Or maybe moving up within the company that, that you already work for. Whatever this is, this is beautiful. Now... Yeah, for some other Sages, this could, again, have something to do with an inheritance, assets. You might be making a decision um, when it comes to, you know, a home, when it comes to an inheritance or assets. I see a lot of communication this week, and I see many of you just being highly, highly intuitive Overall, Sag, I think it's going to be an amazing week for you. I see you really charging forward. Um, I see you making some changes within your life, but these are very, very positive changes. Emotionally, it's going to be a wonderful week. For some of you, you're spending a lot of time with family, friends. For others, there could be an air sign, a water sign, or an earth sign that's quite significant. And I definitely feel like for some Sages, you're moving to a new home. I really feel that strongly. So there could be a lot of Sages that are moving to a new home or signing that lease. Oh, interesting. I'm not sure if you had this last week, Sag. You could have had this last week or recently. We just had Vanessa that flipped out. To make your decision, ask yourself which way brings me closer to my divine purpose, which way takes me away from it. And you might have had this recently, Sag. So maybe some Sages still need to make that decision. Or a decision is quite significant. Now with that Eight of Wands... You know, that decision, if you're a Sag that has been waiting on a decision, that could be coming in quite suddenly. And then for other Sages who need to make a decision, you really need to trust your intuition with this. Okay, Sag? Financially, I think it's going to be an amazing week for you. Emotionally, I think it's going to be an amazing week for you. I see many of you feeling accomplished, maybe even be receiving some sort of um, acknowledgement or recognition this week. I see you quite confident. Sag, uh, overall, I think it's gonna, going to be a great week for you. I do hope that you found this reading helpful, and I hope you have a great week, Sag. Take care.